Welcome to Rogue Trader. Please read the disclaimer and remember that prices can go down as well as up. So here's my stock analysis blitz for Powerhouse Energy Group. So this is part of the Greta Gold stock analysis series. And if you click in the top right hand corner here, you'll see a link to that initial video. That video created a short list of stocks, which I'm doing a quick blitz analysis on to select a couple of good ones for final, more deeper analysis. Now, Powerhouse Energy Group are commercializing these distributed modular generation plants. It was hard to really work out what these were, but essentially they generate hydrogen and electricity from waste plastic and used car tires. They've actually got a first commercial module that they're building for the Peels Protoss Energy Park in Cheshire. And there's another 10 ring fenced for development. They get half a million kickback per park. And in terms of news flow, they've just bought out this uh, company, Waste Tetricity Limited, and then they just raised 50 million. You can see also that their share price, after being flat for a long time, last year it ramped up considerably. And this has happened with a lot of renewable stocks. And we think that that's in line with the news flow, which I covered in the Greta Gold video. However, that does raise a question mark of am I in too late? When I look at Powerhouse, um, they seem to have been around for a very, very long time. And I get the feeling that they were really struggling along. And then just the recent news events in terms of renewable energy has helped give them boost and give them the ability to raise money. They have very little income at the moment, apart from the usual tax credits and stuff. And they have a two million burn rate. However, they have just raised 50 million in uh, 2020 half two uh, fundraising. Overall, I just wasn't really impressed by this stock. You know, when I just look at the overall long term story for them and how the the deals that they have, they don't really set them on fire um, like I was, you know, like I'd like to see for a stock I'd want to go in. The current deals pipeline wasn't really enough to really impress me. And generally, there's just not enough I could see for me to want to go in and invest in this stock. So I'm not going to put these in my final shortlist.